Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser's Morocco. Let us continue on from we last left off. So, 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 so. There's currently a civil war going on in Spain. And the kind of funny thing is, I kind of want CNT to win. Because I want the Rift Alley. That, that's it. I just want the Rift. And if, you know, the CNT wins the war, I get to seize it. If the King of Spain wins the war... Then I don't get the land. And again, it's got some valuable resources. And I be, mean, it's got some steel in it. Um, Yeah, it's got steel. Morocco, we, like, we literally don't have a single natural resource in the country. There is not a single... A single thing in Morocco, basically. Which, which I mean, it's a little sad, yes. Um, You know, let's train up, like... Four rows of cavalry as well. We can have 14 divisions. Let's keep training them up. Do we want to buy more rifles? I think the answer is yes. Hungary is selling literally one gun. You know what? You do you, man. You do you. Let's get some guns from... On this is Anqing, right? I believe so. Let's buy some guns from you. It'll take a lot of convoys, which we don't really have. We don't, we don't actually have convoys. Uh, which is a little sad, but what can we do about that? The C and two uh, C and T divisions got completely encircled. Kind of want to upgrade some of this stuff here. Let's go for mechanical computing. Get ourselves a little bit more research speed. Because what we have what two slots? Yeah, I mean two slots is pretty pretty bad. We have two more. Um. Where do we get? We have a slot here, and we get a slot somewhere in here as well. I think the lesson from the Prussians? Yeah, so there's two more research slots. We can get our way up to four. I mean, four ain't bad. Four, I think, is a completely respectable amount. Okay. Now, Austria is at war with the Hungarians. Now, Hungary also needs to effectively deal with the war against the Ukrainians as well. Well, actually, maybe. Does Ukraine... What's Ukraine doing? Does Austria call Ukraine into the war against Hungary? Actually, I don't... I actually don't know. I I don't know... Because, like, usually Austria doesn't get that many people in its faction. Oh, so anyways. Um, one thing I didn't mention, which I should, is that the Nordic Council has been formed between Sweden, uh, Norway, and the Danish. Who's actually in charge of this? Sweden. Oh, and Iceland's in charge as well. Iceland's in there. So we could end up seeing the Nordic Federation form, which I think state is a perpetually neutral nation. I believe when we did it, we had to cheat our way into the Reichspact, if I remember correctly. Who's just fighting war against us? Commune of France. They're probably demanding Upper Savoy. I don't think I don't. It's not a real war declaration. We don't actually need to worry about this because I'm pretty sure the AI is programmed the. I think always back down, if need be, to avoid an early war. Contract efficiency is not great. Germany, would you theoretically give me some convoys? Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Germany. I'll feel a little bit bad when I rebel against you in the future, but for right now, right now we're, we're in good hands. Okay, Iceland did leave the Nordic Federation, which is fine. Are they also democratic as well? They are. Huh. I mean, I would love to see where this goes. And Finland joined up with the Reichs Pact. I don't know how well that's really going to uh, work out for them. Namely, uh, because they're kind of completely politically isolated. I don't think Germany's going to send troops up to Finland. They got the Baltic Sea here. And Germany, if anybody's going to support the Baltic state or uh, Ruthenia, they're not going to back. They're not going to back the Finnish government against this, against the Russian uh, invasion, when it happens, because it will happen. The Berber question, electronics bonus. Again, well, we need all of these anyway, so let's go for the infrastructure first. It allows our buildings to build a little bit faster. If we theoretically had resources, we'd be able to get those a little bit more efficiently as well. But of course, we cannot actually do that. And how many guns do we need for this right now? 1.7k? 
at four guns a day, it would take us about a little bit more than a year. So it does take a while. But hey, we're getting the guns that we need. Can I buy more, even more guns from the Italians? We're just going to keep buying rifles. I still, like, I, I know I've said this before. I think I said this every single time, every new campaign. I still really, really like this mechanic. The international market, I think, is very, very cool. And I will probably keep saying it, because it, it always actually comes in handy. Unless you're a major... I mean, even if you're, like, a big country like Germany, you would still be able to sell off the guns or sell off the equipment that you don't need. You know, send some of it to your allies, sell a little bit of it. You know, you can sell it for cheap as well if you if you want to. Got some good stuff. I guess I'll probably go with military doctor. Unless I want to go elusive gentleman here. But how likely is it for me to actually get five civilian factories to afford it? I don't know. But the conscription is basically free. There's, I don't think there's any reason to not get it. Also, you can support seven generals. Why is one of the best field marshals in the world in Morocco right now? Being able to field seven generals is very, very, very nice. So offensive doctrine on you. And I know you were able to get some sort of modifier. And trench and speed is kind of dog shit. Or we, why did I even get you? There's a 3211 who I think is just better. Cavalry officer, promotion cost. Yeah, get, put you in charge instead. I think I think you're just better. And mountaineering, giving a bonus to uh, attack and defensive mountains, is really nice. Because, again, like, fighting mountains fucking sucks. And a lot of this territory is mountains. Like, how much of North Africa is mountains? That's not the button I want. Um, terrain, terrain... Like, mountain, mountain, mountain. Like, this is all mountains. This is all mountains. A lot of our countries is mountains as well. Like, just having even a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a bonus there does actually surprisingly go quite a long ways, which, which is nice. How are you guys doing? So, it looks like Bulgaria is currently losing, which is not a major surprise. I mean, they have to support the, the Albanian, so I don't understand how at that point you lose. Russia has now going to secure their entire uh, Central Asian region. Which puts the Russian Republic in a very, very solid position. Georgia is in the kingdom, so Georgia should end up joining with the Reichs Pact. Azerbaijan, I believe, will also join the Reichs Pact when Russia gets a little bit more aggressive into the future. What's everybody else up to? So far, nothing too, too crazy. I mean, having the Dutch in uh, in, uh, in the faction is quite nice. And Mill Africa is completely dominating Portugal. But they have hit that negative 40% stability, which I believe is the um, border raids. It doesn't say it in here, but I'm pretty sure negative 40 is the tipping point for Africa to completely collapse. And Hungary did end up losing. They actually lost, I would say, surprisingly fast. Okay, Italy's clear war on to Sicily's. We might see the Italian Federation uh, join this war as well. And then the Dominion of India and Nepal went to war. If the Dominion of India can beat the Nepalese, it does give them a, I mean, it gives them a very, very large front against the, um, the Bahardi Commune. And does that, does that actually benefit the Dominion? I don't... I don't know. Also, Bulgaria took Bucharest, which I'm very impressive. I don't think it's going to last too long, because I mean, the, Romania has already taken the territory back. But we do want Serbia... I mean, we want Bulgaria to win, because Serbia, Romania, and um, the Greeks typically will join up with the Russians, which is what I don't want to happen. Unless, of course... We end up overthrowing the German yoke, in which case I guess I do want a, the, a strong Russia. Look, Morocco's uh, international policies are kind of all over the place. They don't make any sense to anybody, not even to the king. Nobody in Morocco really knows what the hell is happening right now, okay? It's really just, really just a mess all around. 
But I think the King of Spain, they will end up winning the war. Which again, it's good for the Reich's Pact. It's bad for me personally, because I would love that territory. But I can't see CNT coming back from this. Carl of Spain, I can't see them making a comeback. I'm kind of surprised CNT's lost. But I feel like recently, recent campaigns, we usually see CNT actually win. C CNT is usually the, uh, the most powerful of the German states. Okay, we have 120. Well, who do we have in military staff? 10% attack or 5% five, or 5 attack, 5% defense. Artillery specialist. Well, let's go for offense. We'll get ourselves a little bit of passive army experience gain. Army logistics wouldn't be too, too bad. You're garbage. You're basically ass. Get the artillery bonus. Even though I know we don't have any artillery generals. Or we don't have any artillery period, I should say. But at one point, we might. Right? And you remember that one day, maybe, like, look at this. Like, the Baltic State's selling some artillery. We can maybe take some of theirs. I think this is Yemen. You would not even accept. Why? 85, negative 12. Okay, apparently... Is it because I don't have any factories? Yes, I don't have any factories. You know what? I would understand, Yemen, that you don't want to just give me free rifles. Even though I think that you should. Because I would like it. Or is it Muscat? Okay. Assyrian independence doesn't matter to us at all. I mean, theoretically, the Entente can intervene, but it doesn't really happen too, too much. And look at that. Two, two more civilian factories. That is basically going to double the economy. Morocco, Morocco in January of 1936. Wah, wah, we're little babies, wah. Morocco in January of 1938. Oh my god, it's a world's strongest fucking country. You've never seen anything, never seen anything better than this. I, I, in your life. It's never happened. Okay. What do we want from you afterwards? Probably go straight for research slot. So you're good. You're good. You're situational. You're great. You're basically shit. Okay. So probably go research, uh, research slot first. Follow that... Probably one, two, three, ignore the other two, and then start going down our military tree. To me, that makes the most sense. And I did see as well that Santiago did collapse to the Argentinians, which is great. Bolivia's gonna kill Paraguay, which alleviates um, Argentinian forces a little bit in the north. And to Sicily is actually making a great effort against the SRI. So, um, you know what? I'm going to say, I think Germany has a, um, they've got great outlooks right now. Like, Poland, their election's in May of this year. We'll kind of see which way they swing. As long as they don't go nationalist or socialist, they should align and, and stick with the, uh, stick with Berlin. It's Lindy's clear war in the Dutch East Indies. Is that going to actually drag us in the war? It might, actually. Um, do, you, like, do you have a modifier not to call in allies? No, you don't. Let's see. Do you have one to not call in any allies? Also, no. Okay, we've called the arms request. Am I allowed to reject this? I didn't... We're a puppet, are we not? I didn't know I had the choice to uh, say no. Now, here's the question. Is there any reason for me to say yes? German Empire is reactionary. Dutch Revolution. Good work, guys. We've done it. I guess... Thing is, it's a stability loss. I don't think it actually benefits us to be at war. But Germany actually might give us guns. Okay. 
this, remember, this doesn't do anything. And we're still a year ahead of time, so I don't want to waste on that. Let's go 38 uh, research. So you know what, Germany? Okay, I will join the war. And I'm going to just hope that you're willing just to give me rifles for this. That's my payment. We tanked our stability by 40% to go to join this war. Germany? You, would not, you wouldn't even give me rifles. So why did I even why did I join this conflict? Doesn't make any sense on my part. Okay, Ireland joined the war. We did see Argentina did win their war against Chile and Patagonia's workers front. And yeah, the Nordic Federation is here. Oh, there we go. Three Okay, thank you, Germany. See, we paid our 40% stability to get these guns. That's the only reason we even joined this war. Now the Nordic Federation, what what can you actually do? Like I'm actually not a hundred percent. Like, can you join a faction? Nordic Council. They do all their their nonsense. Conservative, liberal, or social democratic. Advance on integration. Less nationalism. Merge the armies or maintain separate militaries. I think they basically are just a neutral party. I don't think the Danish, the Swedish, the Norwegians, the Nordics at all are going to do anything. They're just going to kind of hang around. And that's fine. A neutral state isn't the worst thing in the world. I don't think I want you. And how's our construction going? You have four factories on you. We're slowly, slowly building up this. Very, very slowly. But now that we have our guns from Germany, and they should be arriving soon. Are we at our cap? We're almost at cap. So actually, we don't need you. Deploy you, and don't train any more units. So this is the maximum size of our military without taking penalties. And honestly, it, it ain't that bad. 16 divisions. Um, we have eight to 6,000 troops in the field. And what we can do as well is that we can just slowly, slowly, slowly switch out these 10 combat with units. Which, you know what? Let me uh, put you on high prioritization, please. We can switch out these weaker units for the more powerful 18 combat with units slowly over time. And I would see that. That seems like a great success. I'm, I'm a little bit curious about what the fuck is going on in Spain. Because, like, the King of Spain was doing so, so well. And now it's all of a sudden completely collapsed to the Carlist. And I don't know how that's happened. It's a little, it's a little worrying for me. Because again, it's a Carlist win. I still believe I do not get the riff. It's only, only if the socialists end up winning in Spain. Okay, you've now declared war. Party Commune is now going to be in a two-front war. That is completely okay. In Middle Africa, what did you end up taking? All of that just to take... What, this province and this province? Negative 41% stability. I believe you are going to collapse literally any moment. And Poland has elected a um, a loyalist government. Should mean that Poland, I believe, stays loyal. I, unless there might be like a revolt. I don't... Poland's had an update, I want to say recently, but it was probably like nine months ago at this point, if, if not more. So I'm not too sure exactly all the paths that Poland can take. But I do know... Or I'm hoping, at least, that Poland stays within the Reich's Pact. That is a bonus for us. Because the Bahari Commune, or the Batsvian Commune up in uh, the Netherlands... Isn't fantastic. Because usually the German AI... Doesn't know how to deal with it. Like, in any capacity whatsoever. Yes, we got the Sultanate of Nejd, 
Um, Cernacia, did you go with Ibis the first? Right now, you're Regent the Council, so we don't actually know quite what's happening there. Quite yet? But, you know, Egypt, Cernacia, um, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, they all join forces against the Ottomans. And maybe um, Armenia and Georgia as well. I don't think we want... I Actually, no, I do want this military factory. But if that ends up being the case, everybody dog piles against the Ottomans. Should be... That's that's beneficial to us. Maybe. Okay, so Spain, King of Spain's collapsed. The Carlists are now in charge of these regions here. And now the question remains. Who is better? The, um... The Carlist or CNT? They do have roughly about the same amount of vision. CNT is going to be taking a penalty due to low war enthusiasm. The final push. It's low versus very high, right? Versus 100%. So CNT is probably still going to lose this war. The Carlists are going to, are going to be in charge here. Heart attack, Peter saying yes, please. Which means I'm not going to get the Rift Valley. I, I, I really, really would like it, though. But I will say, at least for, I think, this uh, moment, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, one thumbs up. Not enjoy, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.